Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Quarantine Cooking with Amanda. Today is going to be delicious. So we are going to make acai bowls, which I always mispronounce, but I wore the shirt to help me pronounce it correctly. So it's really easy. So we're just going to dive right in because it's so quick and easy. So I picked up this bag of pre-frozen in packets acai. It looks just like this. There's four packets to a bag. I was going to make dragon fruit bowls, but Publix was sold out, which reminds me, I have a dragon fruit in the fridge that maybe Michael grabs me out of the produce store. So we're going to get started here. So this is a traditional bowl. So this acai is a berry. And so this berry has been blended up with water and frozen into packets. And so it's super easy because all we're going to do is I have a little blender, my ninja blender here, and I'm going to open up two packets of this frozen berry. These bowls are so good because they are packed full of nutrient-dense foods. Mm -hmm. And most of these are organic because that's just typically what we have. And that's just kind of what happens when you have an organic snack business, you have a lot of organic produce laying around. We're gonna save this for later. All right, so I'm going to open up two packets because, because we have three hungry people who really want a bowl. So it's super easy. I've had these out for a couple minutes, so they're they're maybe kind of sort of slightly fall. You can also run them under hot water if you want to warm them up and have them right away. So we're gonna open this up. So this is something that you can do at home. You can also order the berries off of the internet. And I also included a link to our blog, which has that information for you. So I have a quarter cup of homemade almond milk, which actually I just made yesterday in my mother kombucha growler. So I put a quarter cup of almond milk. You can use whatever kind of milk you want or just water. Two packets of berries. I'm going to put one banana. I don't like my bowls too banana-y, so that's why I only do one banana. But you can adjust if you really love bananas. If you hate bananas, we'll cover that next. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to put the top on this and blend it up. And it's going to look like this. It'll be this creamy, mine's a little liquidy because it's been out for a moment. That's it. So this is the base of our bowl. Just like that. It only took me a couple minutes to blend it up. So I'm going to put a little bit of my base in this bowl. Not too much because I got to spread it around for three people. So this is the base. And normally it wouldn't be so liquidy. Fun fact though, depending on the grade of your berries, so if you're buying frozen berries from Publix, the grade is not quite as high. It goes from A, B, C, or D. When you get C or D, there's more water in it, and that's when you notice you get runny bowls, liquidy, kind of icy, because there's a high water content in it. The Daily Dose in Brainton uses grade A berries, and that's why theirs is so creamy and not watery. Okay, fun fact. So now let's do, and now I don't know what grade this is because it doesn't tell you. I looked, you couldn't see, but it's still delicious. You can also buy the powder and then mix it into your base, and then you know you have 100% berry. So we're just gonna add toppings. That's it. So I picked up a few of my favorites. So I'm gonna put some coconut. And you of course can make this prettier. You can make it way prettier. But we're just being educational right now. I'm gonna also add some fresh blueberries. So it's good to add fruit, but we also wanna make sure we get a wide variety of nutrients. So I'm gonna add chia seeds. Love one of my favorite toppings. These are black organic seeds, non-GMO from Aldi. Chia seeds also come in white seeds. So depending on your recipe or your preference, you might just want to get some white ones. So let's put some white ones on there. Just really pretty around the corner, really pretty bowl. And oh, I also um, have some hemp seeds, great source of plant-based fiber and nutrient, not fiber, well, probably fiber, protein and nutrients. So let's put some on here and you can put as much as you like or if you don't have any hemp seeds or chia seeds, use whatever seed or nut you have in your pantry. There will be no walnuts on my bowls because I do not like nuts, but you can add whatever you like. Okay, and let's put one of our other favorite toppings, which of course you can find on our blog. We'll share all of these links with you or in the comments below. This is from Terrasol. It's their dry trail mix. mix. And it has goji berries, mulberries, cacao nibs, and cashews in it. So we're just gonna take a spoonful and put it right there on the side. Bam, we have our made at home acai bowl. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. And then you just eat it. Or you can give it to your husband or wife 
for Frander. Make yourself too. The other cool thing I wanted to show you was dragon fruit. So dragon fruit is my favorite bowl. So when you see a dragon fruit or papaya bowl, that means that the base is made of dragon fruit. And I just love it. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll show you how to make it. Went to Publix and all of the frozen dragon fruit was gone. But luckily Publix had a whole fresh dragon fruit. So this will be more fun. So I will just show you this. So if you pick up a whole dragon fruit, they come in white or pink. Pretty sure this is a white one. When you buy your dragon fruit, you know it's ripe. If you pick it up and give it a gentle squeeze and it's soft, that's how you know it's ripe. Cut it in half and then open. You have this beautiful dragon fruit. I think the pink has a little bit more flavor, but this works too. Oh, so good. So when you clean your dragon fruit, <clears throat> take a spoon and just scoop out the fruit. So this would be the same concept as the acai, acai berries, is you would take the dragon fruit and you would add very little, well, if you're doing fresh, maybe not even add any milk at all. But if you're doing frozen, add just a pinch of milk. Don't add too much. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So start with just a little. And then when I do these bowls, I like to add mango with my base. You can also cut it up and add it fresh to the top of your bowl. Mmm, this mango is so good. So, trick to cutting mango, cut around the seed and cut off a nice little piece. Grab a cup. Where's my cup? I don't know. Mike's going to grab me a cup. And we're going to show you a fun little quick way to cut mango. And then we'll do this. We'll put this in our blender with dragon fruit and mango. And we'll get a nice base. You can even, so if you have a white dragon fruit, add some spirulina to the base, some spirulina powder, you'll get even more nutrients and then your base will be green. Or if you buy pink dragon fruit, then your base will be that really pretty pink pataya color. So we're gonna take our mango and run it across the edge of the glass, bam. And then that also you can add right into your mixer, your blender, your ninja, and then that would be your base. And after you pour it out of your mixer then you top with it whatever toppings you like and then enjoy so that is how you make your own acai or pitaya bowls right at home if you have questions or some recipe inspirations let me know if you need some um, more product links on um, where you can find the best brands or sources let me know and i will see you next time on quarantine cooking with amanda have a great day we're done see you later